So we're going to talk uh, a little bit about uh, Azure Identity and Access Management um, and how we uh, sort of integrate your on-premise uh, identities as well. Um, I just want to point out that you know your on-premise AD is not, um, oh, sorry, Active Directory AD is not a replacement for your on-premise Active Directory. It's basically a, a complement to it in the cloud. Um, so it's not, you know, Azure AD is a cut down sort of version of traditional Active Directory. Um, so it's, uh, you know, this is not an attempt to get rid of your on-premise AD, um, but Azure AD basically is there to um, provide these cloud-based uh, benefits. Um, gives, uh, gives you a single point of identity in the cloud, right, once you've got an Azure AD. Um, you can access Microsoft applications. Um, there's a bunch of thousands of third-party applications now in Azure AD which are federated. So once you've got an Azure AD account, you can use that identity and you know, access things like Dropbox, for example, or um, Salesforce.com. Uh, any other line of business applications that, that are deployed uh, within your environment. Um, and of course, you can access on-premise and the cloud if you want to use federation of your uh, on-premise ADs. You can connect from any platform, any device, mobile, uh, you know, Android, Mac, whatever. And uh, it provides standalone identity as a service capability for cloud application developers. So really, you know, the, the Azure AD account is pretty vital to everything you're going to do up there. This, uh, I don't know if you can see all of that very clearly, but, uh, and again, I'm not going to rattle through everything on here, but the main takeaway from this is that there's, um, there's actually four different Active Directory editions, uh, five if you include the Office 365 only. Uh, you only see four there because there's one on the next slide, which was only just announced, I think, last week. Uh, but the free version there, you can see, is pretty limited. Then you've got basic, um, which, you know, you can use as an organization if you want. Uh, but generally, you know, if you're going to be serious about doing anything in, in Azure, it's, uh, you know, things like multi-factor authentication, single sign-on. Um, this is when you're getting into Azure AD Premium. Um, and again, if you've got an EA with Microsoft, you probably, you know, licenses usually extend to the premium edition. Um, and then what just came out last week is Azure AD Premium P2. Um, and that's a new um, identity protection and privilege management offering. Uh, so it's an extra cost, uh, subscription cost per month to P1. Um, but with that, uh, you get this new offering. Really, it's, it's all about, uh, you know, what the we saw in the YouTube video where you've got this uh, uh, identity protection and uh, identity management. And the way that that works is, uh, you know, all of those <coughs> monitored points globally, um, monitored by Microsoft, they're now extending this to where you can buy into that and make use of um, this sort of threat protection. Um, so it's taking all of those, you know, billions of signals um, using machine learning technology. It can actually uh, alert you uh, if there's something sort of untowards with one of your AD accounts or, um, you know, someone trying to gain access to your resources. Uh, it's much like, you know, the credit card companies use for um, detecting fraudulent activity where, you know, if you go and fill up your car with gas in uh, 30 minutes from now and then an hour later you, someone's trying to buy a pair of shoes in London, um, your credit card company usually flags that up, right? And give you a call and say, where are you, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, it's a similar kind of techniques. Um, you know, and all of this, I mean, the fact that it's using machine learning, it's, it's a continual uh, improvement to the service as well, right? Because the more that these threats happen, uh, and the more these analytics pick, pick this stuff up, uh, the more that the uh, protection can grow and gets more sophisticated, you know. 